For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the mad cheese as always. Got another top five video for you guys today. Today I'm gonna be going over top five run plays. That's right. The top five most explosive, hard to stop run plays in Madden 22 that I found either in uh, videos that I've already put out on YouTube. If I do use a video from YouTube and have a full scheme, I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to watch the full scheme, passing plays, and running plays. But I'm also gonna have a lot of plays that are just exclusive to my ebooks at this point. Check those out. Link in the description below. Other than that, if you guys want to see more top five videos like top five Woo! defenses hit the like button and let me know in the comment section i'll do that next other than that let's go let's get right into the video the offense itself is the pistol wing flex close this formation is only found in the kansas city chiefs it's not in any other playbook in madden 22 and it's one of the glitchiest formations in the game but ultimately my favorite play and the one i'm going to start this video out with is going to be the speed option now when it comes to running this offense it's helpful to have a mobile quarterback but you do not need a mobile quarterback i run this with patrick mahomes i think he's like a 73 speed quarterback in mutt right now so you know clearly you don't need that i run with the ravens a lot in these practice modes because i think that they i just like using their offense to be honest with you but you do not need a mobile quarterback that's not important at all because it's really all about the pitch now you can see i can flip this play with the right stick it's real simple when it comes to the reads for this play if it's a man coverage you want to run it as is if it's a zone coverage you want to flip it and run it the opposite way and the reason for that's pretty simple you got two receivers to one cornerback makes it a real easy read so all i'm going to do is when i run this just pitch it out with the lb button and you can see the second that ball gets out there's nothing out here i mean what i get 10 15 yards like nothing so we're gonna go to the replay here i just want to show you guys some of the finer details when it comes to running option plays number one the pitch animations you get you typically get them even through contact so you can see i hold that ball to the very last second to the point where i'm essentially getting tackled and the reason for that's very simple because if i throw it too early this guy's going to change his direction and go after the running back so I'm going to hold it as long as possible. I'm going to treat myself like a blocker. I want to occupy this guy. And I tr promise you, you will get that pitch animation. Like I said, every single time, I'll be getting tackled when I hit that LB button. And I'll get that pitch animation out. Then, once you get that pitch animation out, look where he is when he catches the ball. There's nothing but space out here. He's 10 yards from the nearest guy. Now here, it looks like we probably have a man coverage because you can see you got kind of a man alignment, two cornerbacks over two receivers. I can easily run this the opposite way. Once again, that pitch is going to, I mean, it definitely confused Tyron Matthew as to where the ball's going, as you can see. I mean, there, I definitely didn't have the same type of clearance but it didn't matter, as you can see right here. I mean, he comes, the second I see him coming for the quarterback, I get that pitch out, it's game over. He's outside, all I have to do is basically hit the guns and out sprint the defenders. Formation is the full house base, and it has some of the best plays uh, that that particular formation has, including this one here, which wasn't in that playbook last year, the wing power O. Maybe even the best play is gonna be the wing power O. It completely changes though. I mean, it basically turns into a traditional, uh, almost like a single back uh, ace look, you know, with uh, even look on each side. But you really have the opportunity to basically run this like a stretch play with a lead pulling guard, which most stretch plays don't have. I could flip this play too with the right stick, but I always want to run it away from any cover three box safeties. Like in this scenario, there's a box safety. So here, like I said, I can run it right up inside here, or a lot of times you can take it outside and basically just run it to the edge, kind of like a stretch. But you can see how the blocking works out there very overpowered run like i said that's another play i could really run that against anything i have faith these two plays are so good i have faith you can run them against just about anything you see i'm gonna run in the direction of the tight end this time like i said a lot of times you're gonna want to take it outside my guard did not quite get on that block in time maybe overran him but you can see the blocking is just insane 
The formation is the gun wing slot weak. Dude, the Bucks sweep read option is without doubt the best run play in this particular uh, playbook. It's one of the better runs in the game. So this play here, this is a play where I showed you guys last week. It was a power read play. All you have to do is hold the A button. And for whatever reason, these guards do a terrific job of kicking out. There, that actually wasn't too great of a run block because the guard didn't get a field. But you can see I still have a lot of opportunity. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to be holding A and handing to this running back. Like I said, this is something where I pretty much can get outside of this every single time but there's a caveat you could also hold it with quarterback this play is going to be especially dominant against man like right here we have nobody out there now there's one thing that i forgot to mention this is important when it comes to the pass plays always every single time you run this play motion this guy in it's going to help with the run plays too because a lot of times it'll bring the cornerbacks in and stuff like that it's going to help me get outside with the quarterback but you pretty much want to always motion this guy in it's going to make a huge difference when it comes to the scheme as i show you guys the pass play most likely tomorrow uh because that motion in is going to be something that i do every single time when it comes to the pass play so like i said it'll help with the run plays as well if i keep it with the quarterback ultimately though this is going to be something where i could basically just keep it you can see right here i mean the blocking is great for the quarterback i should probably run out of bounds if you run with the quarterback you don't want to up with getting fumbles and stuff like that but you can see how easy that is now here we have a really interesting look this is going to be my best opportunity to keep with the quarterback because you're going to see how these guys are all pretty much in the box you can see right there i mean that guy just didn't commit there's nothing out here anytime you have these type of man commit looks we have all these guys packed in the box keeping with the quarterback is going to be best because they just don't really handle that particularly well this is probably going to be your best look when it comes to running with the running back because you got a man coverage you can see there's no real um outside cornerback on the right side there's nothing really keep me from holding it to the running back and basically just spring to the edge you see the guard there does a great job of sealing i mean this is something where i should get 10 to 15 yards before i get touched any single time i run this so the gun split close now a couple things you can do to make this formation even better i number one always put in a uh, running back at the second uh, at the fullback spot um, for blocking maybe the fullback would be a better way to go but ultimately i find it's best to just put in your best running back my favorite run by far is definitely the fullback inside which is another reason why you're going to want to make sure that you have an actual uh, running back there because most fullbacks aren't good enough to run that play as far as the run plays go is you have the option to go in either direction most plays you just have uh the the fullback here who's typically a running back doing an inside zone that's basically what this is this is an inside zone with a blocker which if you really wanted to you could put that if you run this play a lot you could put your fullback at uh, the spot that number 31's at there and then give yourself even better blocking but ultimately this is definitely the best run play this look here though doesn't necessarily look like the best look but you can see i still have success even if it's not going to be an explosive touchdown run which i'm hoping to get and when you run these plays you really want to think about um, you know, this is more of an inside run, but you really want to think about it more like they're looping wide runs. You know what I mean? Like you, you typically, you know, it's pretty obvious when it comes to the other play that's best to take the power outside. Although a lot of times I try to take it inside. It's really, this right play is more of an outside read in where the other play, the fullback inside is more of an inside read out. But there's going to be a lot of opportunities where it's best to just run it out wide like this and that's going to be really frustrating for your opponent especially if they're playing as a, a middle linebacker or user or whatever they're going to have a hard time keeping up or you know at least pre-diagnosing where the ball is going to go that's one of my favorite things about this running system is that you can't really tell where the ball is going to go at any given time because it could really go either way you can go left or right and your opponent's going to have a hard time guessing which is going to give you the advantage nine times out of ten the formation itself is the gun y off tree a week the play though that i'm talking about is the buck sweep this is a play where in previous years the buck sweep has had a really good iteration typically out of single back formations you typically had a toss this is actually a handoff but the buck sweep element is still there and you get some really overpowered blocking from the pulling guards as far as this play goes it's this is just an this is just an incredible play it's got to be new to the game this year i don't remember buck sweep plays like this in the past all you're really gonna do is follow number 70 Woo! number 70 there is your lead blocker and look at all the space out here once he gets on that guy once he blows that edge up i mean the blocking of this play is just insane i mean this really reminds me of some of the better run plays in the past when it comes to uh to buck sweeps because they used to be really overpowered there i mean that guy just gets a piece of this guy right here to let me get outside else it would have been blown up but once you follow number 70 once you follow that lead blocker look at the space out here man i mean this is just insane it's super consistent you're going to get this a lot this is definitely one of my favorite run plays in the game right now i mean this is a super consistent run play and some of the other run plays i'm going to show you guys really have great counters you can see once again 70 getting out on the edge typically blocking a cornerback swallowing up a cornerback or a safety i mean sometimes he'll get blocked early he'll go he'll, he'll engage early but he's really the guy to get out there you can see right there boom he just blows that guy up and look at how much space out there i mean this is like 20 to 30 yards with no real contesting uh there's nothing really coming even close to me 
I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, a combination of a one play touchdown and some really good run plays, uh, or you want to see more plays out of the Ravens, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.